Some wear their heart on their sleeve, and some go a little further and really flaunt their feelings. So even though the referendum is a secret ballot, Neville Hayward wanted to make sure nobody would be in any doubt where his loyalties lay. So a made-to-measure suit was ordered from London to celebrate a red, white and blue day in Stanley. We want to show the rest of the world that we want to remain British. And because we are British, it's our way of life, it's the only thing we know. When he's not working at the Stanley Hospital, Dr Barry Elsby is one of the legislators trying to forge better relations with their South American neighbours. He thinks the poll can help their cause. We are looking for a very high turnout and people realise the importance of a high turnout because that is what is important. It's showing the world that the majority of the people here want to remain as we are. We don't want to become a colony of Argentina. The geography of the islands creates real challenges for making sure everyone eligible can vote. The Falklands are slightly bigger than Yorkshire, but most roads are unpaved, so sometimes it can take hours to drive relatively short distances. Some communities consist of little more than a few houses, so many people are unable to get to one of the few polling stations. And so the polling stations will come to the people. A fleet of four four-by-fours will crisscross the countryside, coming to communities like this one at Fitzroy for around 30 minutes at a time to allow people to cast their votes. And for places that cannot be reached by road, a plane will be island hopping, weather permitting. And some of these have, have literally less than five right, people living there. An international group of election observers, including some from South America, will observe the referendum to make sure the rules are followed. Because the spotlight is here internationally, this is an issue that plays way beyond the islands, that um, we have to make sure that uh, even in these very remote places that everybody has an opportunity to vote. The war in 1982 shaped the Falkland Islands future. The deaths of 255 servicemen made Britain less willing to discuss sharing sovereignty with Argentina and made the islanders more determined than ever to preserve their status. Many of the 655 Argentinians who died here remain on what their government will always insist is Argentine soil. It will not accept the result of the referendum. I don't think Argentina will, uh, especially the government, maybe some of the Argentine people may think different, but I think that uh, Argentine government are pretty hard-headed and it's going to take a while to sink in. But that won't stop the Falkland Islanders spelling out their wishes in clear and simple language. They did so in their cars on a hillside overlooking Stanley, and they will say yes again on a ballot paper today. In Woods and Sky News, in the Falkland Islands.